Welcome to Knock Bay's Learning Circle. We would like to give you some tips that are easier to show by video than in our written instructions on making hand drums that should help you work with as natural materials used, such as the rawhide and the lacing. There are variations in the thickness of the rawhide drum head. This is natural. When planning where to have your lacing holes, try to select the hole locations that avoid the thinnest part of the head edge. Mark the locations you have selected lightly with a pencil. The pencil marks will wash out later if you need to have that. Spacing out the, the two lacing holes if your rawhide is thin is going to help spacing out at the, up to an inch apart and up to an inch from the edge will help. When using thicker rawhide, we suggest using a quarter inch wood chisel for making the holes. But for these thinner hides, we suggest using a regular leather punch like this one. Use the hole size that is slightly larger than the 1 8 inch lacing. After cutting the holes, soak your heads and lacing in lukewarm water, but only long enough to make the leather soft and flexible. For cow hide and goat hide, an hour should be long enough. If you soak it too long, you will weaken both the head and the lacing, increasing their ability to tear as they dry. Deer and elk rawhide will need more time soaking than cow. 1 8 inch lacing is used because it best fits the rim sizes used. But for lacing cut this narrow, it is possible for it to break when it is wet and you are pulling it tight. If that happens, you can back up to the drum center, tie a knot, and then start the lacing again. When you finish the drum, the knot will be hidden inside the winding of this lace in the center. One of the things that will help you lace through the punched holes is to keep the two tips of the lacing out of the soaking water so it stays stiff. I tape it to the side of the bin and it'll stay that way for that hour that you need it to loosen up. To flatten the hide on the side of the drum, our instructions tell you to use electrical tape wound on the edge like this. This is done while the hide is still wet right after you've strung it up. Leaving this tape on here then, to let it almost dry is what you will do. And then just as it's just about getting completely dry, pull it all off and let it finish its drying. When working on drums in the winter, when the humidity is low, we will find it works best if you dry it slower. Don't put it in front of a warm blowing radiator to dry because it'll dry too fast and too tight and could break in these locations that you have them laced in. You do not need to, to pull these lacings real tight when making these drums when there is low humidity because they are going to tighten up very nicely. Remember, all of the materials you are using are natural materials, so there's going to be some variations, and so especially watch for the thinness in both the lacing and the heads. Practice will make it a lot better.